Wow, what I'm doing now. Just now I'm pulling out weeds that are growing, flourishing and just enjoying their happy life, but short, honestly. <laughs> right here I have uh, two sides of my work. This is before and this is after. So I have these with here. We have a lot of them. And also we have on the other side, but still there are also weeds <laughs> that are waiting for me. This is how I'm doing that. So the ground is quite wet because it's been raining for a while. I have this exotic cacti here. One, two, three, four, five. How, how could they? I don't have enough power. I need two hands because the root is quite massive. <laughs> oh no, I did that. Yeah, hooray. I did that. as how now we're in the attic with my grandma and we're going to collect the elderberry blossoms yes and this is the bush that blooms in may in ukraine and some people from villages or even from towns as me <laughs> collect them in order to get some extra money so these blossoms dry ones are used in medicine or in teas uh, yes and have some healthy effects And we are doing that by simply sweeping it and then we'll just collect it in bag by our hands because the blooms are rather small and actually I think that the hands after that may be yellow. That is the result that we have, three bags and a half, and now we're gonna weight it. 16-17 kilograms of elder, elderberry blossom. <laughs> Have the field of raspberries it's our small business I would say the season one and um, we hear about these raspberries from the very beginning of the spring I mean in April all the process <laughs> starts and uh, from such small raspberry bush we grow these big ones 
so the raspberries the berries themselves appear in the at the end of uh, july this is the size of raspberries that we have generally it's um, a little bit unripe but still comparing to my hand it's rather big and uh, in order we could get such size we use this uh, drip irrigation system that is presented but um, generally it goes um, on the ground so that the roots of the raspberries bushes uh, could get a um, good amount of water that they need to grow picking up cherries and telling you the story what we're gonna do with them uh, today in the evening my mom and I are going to make a homemade wine or jam so from these cherries we'll do some wine yes I think that uh, almost all the Ukrainian families um, make that at homes because it's rather cool uh, we know the ingredients, like there are no chemicals there, so we, we're willing to do that and then to taste. Thank you. <laughs> so we picked so many cherries. I think that we have approximately 20 kilograms. And here you can see the result of my dad's cuttings. <laughs> yes, this is the pretty easy thing. If a Ukrainian person can't do something, we can just cut it off. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, just this uh, tree um, needed to be cut uh, because it was very tall and we weren't able to pick some cherries. That's why we have a lot of branches of it that later, I hope, when my boyfriend comes to my village, <laughs> uh, he'll chop these uh, branches for uh, firewood. And then when we will have a grill, uh, we'll put these uh, what? firewoods. And then the meat will smell like cherries. So here we have a lot of cherries, we wash them and then we peat them. So the process looks like this. Mom just squeezes the cherry and 
uh, everything comes out yes and then we'll just put some sugar here and make the preserves from cherries in their own juice and then we can use it for some cakes or for varanics like that <laughs> So now we're gonna do the homemade wine. What do we need for it? We need the whole jar of cherries. I mean, we need to uh, to leave some space for the vodka and for sugar. And here is the process itself. Uh, we add one glass of sugar here. And next step is to add some vodka. Beautiful sound. <laughs> and we are pouring it. I don't know how much vodka I need. More. Okay. Because according to the recipe, the whole jar should be filled with vodka, not with water. So I put the lid on my jar and then I should mix it in order to dissolve the sugar. So that was our one day in a village. We did a great job. Thank you for your attention, subscribe for more, put your likes and see you! That is Zuzha! <laughs> Say goodbye! Zuzha! <laughs>